Hey, what's up? This is Jared with The Out Podcast. We're going to take a look at Mercury, Just going to give you the temperature and some more weather information. So it's going to connect here. Um, I'm actually not connected to 3G. I am connected only to Wi-Fi, and it does work in both modes. So it's kind of nice. When you launch the app, it will usually ask you if it is okay to use your location information. You want to click OK, and then it will go out there and search. Right now, I'm only connected by Wi-Fi, and I've seen that it does take a little bit longer using Wi-Fi than it does 3G um, because it's got to go and grab your IP address and look for your location that way rather than just using the 3G GPS locator, um, which usually works faster. So I can click here or tap here and it'll show me uh, highs and lows. If I want more details, I can click on that and it will bring up the Weatherbug website and give me all kinds of information about the weather um, right within the app. You could zoom in to see that a little bit easier and view their website and all that good stuff. Um, see it automatically loads in your zip code, gives you all of that information um, right from within the app, which is great. So you can refresh here to refresh your weather or your temperature. Uh, the information tab here allows you to set in Fahrenheit or Celsius. Gives you a little bit of information about where the information is pulled from. So this is very cool. Very nice, simple app to give you the temperature. Unlike a lot of other apps out there that are really uh, feature intensive, uh, when all you really want to know is the weather, it gives you that. When you want to know a little bit more, it gives you the details tab there so you can go and look over at uh, the Weatherbug website and get that information. So I like this app. Very simple, very well put together, clean user interface, A+, plus, great job. So definitely check out Mercury in the App Store. Leave your thoughts and reviews on our website. Remember, you can leave your own comments and everything right underneath this video. You can even give it your own rating, one through five stars so that other people can see what you think about the app as well. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash the app podcast because sometimes we give away free apps over there uh, and you don't want to miss that. So take care and we'll see you next time on the app podcast.